Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to talk about AKB48, it and almost all the scandals evolving the group, there is a lot of them so let's go. Crazy Fans AKB48, have promoted themselves as idols that you can meet, so they have some events that fans can attend to, like their handshake events where fans get to meet the members and shake hands with them. Fans can get the tickets for these events by buying limited edition copies of singles. In other events fans get approximately 10 seconds per ticket to spend with a specific member. They are allowed to combine tickets to spend multiple minutes talking to the member. This has led to instances of mass CD buying. Fans already purchased an insane number of CDs in order to stack their tickets. They often throw away the CDs after extracting the tickets, leading to environmental waste and littering. A fan even got arrested after dumping 600 CDs on a mountain. Other fan was arrested for identity fraud. He allegedly created fake IDs and passports in order to bypass the CD purchasing limit, to vote in the group's annual general election. And in 2012, a 19-year-old male was arrested for allegedly choking an AKB48 fan, in order to steal photos of the group at the handshaking event. Police said the suspect offered to exchange photos of the group and they went to a restroom. There, the suspect allegedly choked the other boy and took his photos. Police said they found hundreds of AKB48 photos at the assailant's home. Manager arrested in 2015, AKB48's former manager was arrested for sexual assault three years after leaving the company. In the investigation of his crime, police found 75 individual films totaling 15 hours of the members showering, changing and using the bathroom, taken without their permission, with an equipment that he concealed in inconspicuous places as well as cigarette lighters and pens producing an uneasy voyeuristic quality. And believe it or not, he was sentenced to just 16 months in prison. Handsaw Assault In May 25, 2014, the members, Anna Irayama and Rina Kawai, were attacked by a man in a handshake event. The weapon used by the man was a foldable handsaw modified with attaching box cutter blades on its side. The members and a staff member who tried to stop the attacker were subsequently treated at a hospital for fractures and cuts. The assailant felt frustrated after losing his job the previous December, and would later testify at the criminal trial, that he was frustrated that such idols were well paid. He was sentenced to six years in jail. The Stalker of Karen Uwada a man who was a fan of Karen since 2012, and attended the handshakes events a lot, was banned from future events by Karen's agency, after he proposed marriage to her at such an event. After this, he allegedly began sending threats to Karen and her family and repeatedly appearing at related events. In a two-year period, he sent about 1,500 letters to Karen, and was later arrested for stalking and harassing her. Dating Scandal As most of the idols, the AKB48 members are not allowed to date. But there's actually a lot of dating scandals involving them, obviously none of them got as famous as the one involving Minami Minijishi, and that's because none of the other members had such a harsh punishment as hers. On January 31st of 2013, the weekly tabloid Shukin Bunshun reported that Minami had spent a night at the apartment of the idol Alan Shirahama. A few hours later, it was announced at the group's official blog that she would be demoted from one of the official members of Amida Team B to Kenki Uzai. For those of you who don't know, Kenki Uzai is a term used to describe the members in training and teams are what are used to separate members of the 48 group. I don't want to explain how the group works because the video is not about that, and it would make it much longer. But if any of you want to know more about the system of the group, there are several videos on YouTube explaining it. Now back to the scandal. On the same day, the group's official channel published a video of Minami with her head shaved, 
apologizing to her fans for her thoughtless behavior, and hoping that the management would let her stay in the group. This obviously was super controversial, people were super mad at her company for such a cruel punishment, but we actually don't even know if the company really told her to do it, a lot of people say that Minami chose to do this herself, as a way to repair her reputation, I don't know if this is true but to be honest this makes sense, as I said earlier, a lot of other members were involved in dating scandals, but none of them got such a harsh punishment. Some of them were never mentioned by the company. Some other people say that the punishments are based on the public's reaction but I don't know about that. The scandal obviously got a lot of attention because it involved another celebrity but it was not the first and only one to do so. We will probably never know whose decision it really was. Sexualizing Minors AKB48 used to have annual bikini singles in the music videos. All the members used skimpy two-piece swimsuits including the underage ones. Besides the bikini singles, the members were also put in super sexy photo shoots, totally inappropriate for the age of some members. The one that I'm showing right now are one of the least inappropriate photo shoots that I found. But thankfully, the last bikini single was back in 2015. And in 2018 the management updated their policies, now only members under the age of 18 will appear in bikinis or in lingerie from now on. If I forgot to mention a scandal please comment down below, maybe I can do a part 2 of this video, and please don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you so much. For